Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a newly released tool by Microsoft called as Markdown. Markdown library is a utility tool for converting various files to markdown format. You can use it for indexing, text analysis, data set generation, and for a lot of other use cases. If you don't know what a markdown format is, it is a very lightweight markup language that uses plain text syntax. Calling it a language is an overstatement because it is so easy, so lightweight, very easy to read by humans. It becomes accessible to users who are not even familiar with HTML or any other computer language including HTML or XML and that sort of stuff. Markdown enables you to format text using simple syntax. For example, if you want to define a heading, you will just put hash before it. If you want to make a text bold, you will just put double asterisk sign before it and so on and so forth. You can search it on uh, Google about Markdown format. And you should be able to find a lot of uh, tutorials around it. I believe I also have one or two on the channel if you're interested. So Markdown uh, files are plain text files. They are platform independent, quite portable. You can create and edit Markdown files on any device using any text editor. Markdown can be converted to other formats with the help of this tool, HTML, PDF, document, Excel files, latex file, and the list goes on and on and on. So this tool, which is market down tool by Microsoft, it supports for you to mark down any file in PDF format, PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, any image file such as for example you want to do the optical character recognition or OCR you can do that too you can also use it on audio files you can use it on HTML for specialing, uh, special handling of a lot of uh, Wikipedia like websites which have other um, markdown delimiters and then there are a lot of other formats which it supports including XML, JSON, CSV and there are a lot of others I'm not sure if it supports Parquet format. I think it does, but we can check it out. Also, if there is a compressed file in zip format, it also can iterate over it. So that is a quick intro of this market down tool. Let's go and try to get it installed and then we will see how it works on various files. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. You don't need really GPU to use this tool unless you are using a local LLM. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system. And just for the record, this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. So let's create a virtual environment as usual. And now let me install the market down, which is simple pip install. I'm also installing OpenAI because first I'm going to show you how you can use this market down without LLM, and then we will see it with the LLM. And in the course of its installation, it installs a lot of things, um, as you can see here. So let's wait for it. And now as a precursor to when we will be using it with LLM and I will be using the OpenAI's LLM. So I need to set my OpenAI key, which you can also obtain from platform.openai.com. It's a paid option uh, and I will just put it in my key here and then I will clear the screen. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so let me now show you how you can use this market down. It's fairly simple. You see, we are importing this library market down and then I am instantiating this market down. I am providing it the path to my own PDF file, which looks like something this, not this one. Let me see where it is. It let me find. There you go. And so this is just a PDF to a file with one paragraph about my random personal information. So I am trying to convert it it into the markdown format and then i am printing it down so let me run it and there is no llm involved by the way here as of now and you can see that it has just converted everything into the text format also you can display it in the markdown by using python's ipython library and for that all you need to do is to just uh, use this ipython.display and then 
display it in the markdown so let me run both of these so you can see the difference here this one is the markdown format and now let me show you how you can use it with large language models let's do the ocr with it and then um, i will be providing it an image it will do the optical character recognition from that image by using the model open AI's model and then we will display it in the markdown format for that let me paste the code and walk you through again simply we are importing markdown mark it down and then we are importing the open ai again i am instantiating this open ai's client and mark it down clients and then mark it down is also getting this llm and the llm is gpt4 oh we already have set our api key and then this is a local image which i am getting which i wanted to convert it into the markdown format i i'm just printing the text down without markup and then the actual markup format here which i'm displaying let me quickly show you the image this is the image which i'm trying to do the ocr so let's see how it goes let me run it and there you go it has done the ocr in the markdown format as you can see the first one is a plain text and the bottom one is uh, the markdown format and if you look at uh, the ocr this is done by of course gpt 40 so it's not that bad it looks good but look at the markdown format and then look at the email so it looks quite good if you don't want to use it in your Jupyter Notebook or your Python code, you can also use it as a CLI. For that, let me take you to the terminal. So this is a terminal. All you need to do is to run it like this as a CLI where we are calling this market down and then giving it the file we want to convert it in, into markdown. There you go. So it has converted it into markdown. And you can even use the pipe functionality of Linux, something like that, where we are getting this file and piping it to this market down with, this, with the same result. So all in all, I believe a pretty nifty tool. Now, if you have been following my channel, you might have noticed that I cover a lot of these tools. The main reason is that because these tools are so um, useful when it comes to data handling, data engineering, data manipulation, because that is a key and cornerstone for any LLM applications, rag pipelines, or generating data sets. Because if the quality of your data set is good, your LLM application will be a success. And we can use all the tools in the world to, you know, format and pre process these data, which is scattered throughout our Excel files, PDF files confluence pages our repos and all that stuff that is why it's so useful now i'm sure that you are going to ask it that uh, which one is better this tool mark it down or docling by ibm i would say that docling is much more diverse and um, we have seen it working in a couple of videos as you can see here so for now i think docling is better than this but I'm more than sure it's a new tool, this market down, and it is also going to be uh, good very soon. Again, I would highly appreciate if they could make this work with the local LLMs. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.